Hi, I'm now back to my home and uh, looking at uh, the picture um, indoor. Uh, you can see the wrinkles maybe in the picture. That's very common. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to get rid of those using the more advanced technology called the uh, dry mounting with uh, silicone backing paper. This is the backing paper I'm going to use. It has a silicone adhesive layer. I put the painting on top of the silicone, on top of the silicone film. So uh, it looks like this. And uh, I use the heat set. I mean, I'm going to use the uh, iron to, to heat the adhesive. So you will back the original picture, get the wrinkle out and flatten it. Now the first thing I'm going to do in dry mounting, ironically, is uh, spray a little bit of moisture. It's still you know, different from uh, wet mounting where you uh, soak the picture completely with uh, wet uh, flour paste. But uh, uh, in this case, we only need a little bit more water. So it will stretch. Uh, even, you know, there's a, a little uh, hole, you can stretch it and then make it up. It will not be noticed. Okay, now um, put a protective sheet of uh, paper, which is a used silicone paper, the release paper, um, on top of the picture. And now I set the, the iron on uh, silk, uh, actually a little bit higher than silk, uh, in between the wall and the silk. It should be 180 Fahrenheit. And you iron from uh, the center out. Don't have to press that much, just to uh, keep moving. Then you go like circular movements. Just let the heat do the work. About uh, one minute. You can see the picture is already flattened and you can iron on the back side. Oh, by the way, I put uh, uh, three to four layers of uh, denim cloth underneath it. Don't put uh, too heavy padding like uh, felt, it will be too soft or too little. Just uh, three to four layers of denim cloth is the best. Now it's a perfect wrinkle free and flat. The color also enhanced. It shows the uh, color when it was wet in the uh, painting process. So that's why mounting is uh, very necessary uh, for Chinese brush painting. And you can leave it, uh, leave the silicone paper on until you frame. You can trans then transfer it to the backing board or using a piece of uh, uh, backing paper. I can show you how. You wait a, a little bit cool and then peer the backing, uh, the release paper from a corner.
you can see the adhesive now become a kind of a, uh, like a plastic uh, laminate, but it's not on the on the front side; it's on the back. It's actually it's a, uh, it's not a lamination; it's a adhesive. You cannot do it on the front. It, it's kind of uh, semi-transparent. This is the front. Now you can see the picture is very uh, thin but uh, flat. And uh, with the support of the silicone film on the back, you can roll it without making any wrinkles anymore. It's a ni nice. It's a very uh, stable material. They have used this with uh, photography for years and also archival uh, in the libraries. Uh, repair you know, books or using uh, this to mount uh, uh, pictures. So I'm going to use a, another piece of uh, paper, uh, the mulberry rice paper as backing for this. So you iron it again, it would transfer on, I mean, the, it will stick on the back of the paint, painting. So I put a, the release paper now on top as a protective sheet. And then just iron again, very easy. Now this is uh, uh, finished. It's now backed by another sheet of uh, strong uh, mulberry paper. It's ready for framing. Look at the color, now very intense. The clouds. You have seen that uh, I just uh, dry mounted this uh, picture uh, using the silicone backing paper. Now uh, transferred onto a um, mulberry paper. I had this uh, question before from a YouTube viewer in Holland. Uh, he asked uh, whether this uh, would create uh, uh, damage to the original picture or uh, if uh, we can uh, peer the original picture off again. I mean, we don't want anything permanent in that sense, because uh, as we know, the traditional wet mounting, uh, a skilled mounter, or what we call the, the mount, wet mounting uh, technician, can peer the original picture off by re-wet it. But that process is uh, impossible for uh, artists themselves. You have to ask a specialist to do it. Usually it's uh, in the rescue effort of ancient pictures. But uh, it's not a challenge that much uh, difficult to do with uh, this kind of uh, uh, silicone paper. You can see now it, the backing paper is, is uh, integrated. I mean, it's uh, sticked on the uh, original, right? But it's a heat sensitive adhesive. Remember, it's not uh, like a, a flour paste. It will become uh, flexible again. So this is uh, what I, I'm going to show you. Okay, let me just show you uh, this corner. You can see it peels off, right off, like that. Um, but we don't encourage you to do that unless if it's absolutely necessary. You see it peels off. Um, the temperature has to be enough to uh, make it uh, uh, loose again. If it, as soon as it gets cold, it will become firm. So you need to reheat it in the process. Um, anyway, we don't recommend you to do it, but uh, you can if necessary, for any reason. 
So I hope this uh, solves your concern. Um, I will answer any other uh, questions you might have. Uh, please write to me or uh, write your comment on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.